Canada will provide 10 replacement barrels for M777 howitzer artillery guns to Ukraine in new military aid valued at 9 million Canadian dollars, 6.9 million dollars, the Canadian Defence Minister said on Wednesday. We will continue to work around the clock to provide Ukraine with the comprehensive military aid that it needs to defend its sovereignty and security, Defence Minister Anita Anand said in a statement. Canada donated the M777 howitzers to Ukraine earlier and the replacement barrels are needed to maintain their distance range and accuracy. The US on Wednesday also announced a 1 billion US dollar package of military assistance for Ukraine aimed at bolstering the country's ability to push back Russian advances in the eastern Donbass region. Several European nations added their own contributions, as US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin wrapped up a meeting of more than 45 nations in Brussels to discuss Ukraine's security needs. The aid reflects Ukraine's needs for longer-range rocket and missile systems that will allow it to target Russian troops in locations from farther away, thus making strikes less likely for Ukrainian forces. The US$1 billion US dollar package is the largest single tranche of aid provided by the US since the war began on February 24. It includes $350 million in rapid, off-the-shelf deliveries by the Pentagon and $650 million in other longer-term purchases. All combined, the U.S. has now committed about $6.3 billion in security assistance to Ukraine since the beginning of the Biden administration, including approximately $5.6 billion since Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24. Ukraine's National Guard has destroyed three of Russia's multiple rocket launch systems MLRS, using M777 howitzers, according to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry on Monday. The MLRS, rocket launchers that are mounted on self-propelled vehicles, were destroyed in the area around Severodonetsk, a strategic city in eastern Ukraine. The country's defense ministry shared a video, with the footage attributed to Ukraine's special operations forces, on Twitter early Monday that showed aerial footage of the Russian MLRS sitting immobile on a stretch of land, and then going up in smoke and flames after being struck. Its intelligence provided by the country's special operations forces allowed the National Guard to successfully destroy the Russian MLRS, the ministry said. The video had more than 84,000 views by publication time. The destruction of the Russian weapons systems may serve as a sign of progress in Ukraine's counteroffensive around Severodonetsk, especially after the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine said on Monday that Russia had pushed Ukrainian units away from the city center with the support of artillery. After initially focusing the assault around Kiev, Russian President Vladimir Putin's forces have been chipping away at Donbass in the east. Last week, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky predicted that the fierce battle for Severodonetsk could, 